Congratulations on your brand new mill spin slide back plate. We're gonna go over how to install your back plate. First thing we're gonna do is visually and physically clear our weapon. Discharge your firearm, remove your slide. Underneath the slide, you're going to see your firing pin as well as your spacer sleeve. What we're gonna do is take a small tool, in this case, just a screwdriver and depress the spacer sleeve as you can see. Once your spacer sleeve is depressed, you're gonna place your thumb on the back plate and just slide it off the slide. Be sure to keep your thumb over the back of the slide when you let the springs loose. The last thing you want is to fire your springs into the ceiling. Trust me, I've done it. Once you have both of your springs exposed, your firing pin spring and your extractor spring, we're gonna open up our mill spin slide back plate. In this case, we have a tricolor US flag back plate. In the exact reverse order, all we're gonna do is depress the springs, this time from the back of the weapon, and slide the back plate right back over the spring. To get your extractor spring down, you're just gonna use the exact same tool, push down the extractor spring, slide the back plate into place, and you'll hear an audible click. That is a fully installed Glock back plate. All we're gonna do at this point is slide it back onto the lower, do a function check, and you're ready to go to the range.